Welcome to another episode of Hard Target Rage. Let's go shooting. Well, here we are back in the shop with the gun we were shooting, the Glock 19. This one happens to be a Gen 3, more or less a stock Glock, 15 round magazine. It does have a New York two trigger in it, a battle hook sight on the rear, and a tritium night sight on the front. Let's get her unloaded here. Other than that, just a basic Glock 19 Gen 3. That's where we were shooting down on the hard target range. What I thought I'd talk about in between the little shooting we did and what we'll close the program with up like we always do is the hidden hybrid holster I got on right here. We'll take this out of its unfortunate location on me. I thought I'd talk about this today. They sent this to me to review and I've had it quite a while. If you saw the original review you'll know what I'm talking about. If not I'll put a link right here to that original review. You know everybody and their brother makes one of these holsters. I can't I can't remember the name of the company and the gentleman that originally designed it has, has passed away now. I can't remember the name of the company off the top of my head but Pretty much everybody has taken up wearing these and every company makes one and Mr. Holster, yeah, he's never worn one before, this one. No, it's not the kind of holster I wear. I use uh, outside the waistband a 3 o'clock direct vertical drop. That classic Jeff Cooper doctrine guy I am. Yeah. So, I was kind of hesitant to, to accept this from them when they wanted to send it to me because I thought, you know, this really isn't something I'd use. First off, it's not a direct vertical drop. Second off, it's inside the waistband holster, which, you know, my if you watch my channel, you know I really don't have anything to do with inside the waistband holsters except for possibly wearing them around the house to make it easy to pull it on and off when I get myself in and out of a recliner. So... Yeah, not a lot of use for it. And then I decided, you know, they have this model with the uh, belt loops on it. So it can be worn outside the waistband, number one, which kind of interested me. Number two, I thought, who better to review it but somebody that doesn't wear these things. Yeah. So, I, you know, bear that in mind as I review this thing that, yeah, I, I, I'm not a real fan of this type of holster to start with. So... First off, if you saw my original, what, when I got this, I did a, a cursory review of it on the quality of it. And I'll put a link right here to that if you want to go watch it. I don't want to repeat myself. Very, very nicely made. And the thing that impresses me the most is, and this is the expensive part, the expensive component of this holster, is this leather piece in the back. And it is real leather. Actual real leather. It's not some sort of yeah, synthetic material, which that that's the whole concept here is you've got a Kydex synthetic holster, but you have leather on the backing of it. That's what makes it comfortable to wear, and it is very comfortable to wear. I'll have to admit, I didn't I didn't even know I had it on any differently than any other holster, which surprised the heck out of me. It really did. Because I thought it was going to be agony, and I kind of put it off for quite a while and wearing it. But I've been wearing it for quite a while now and actually trying it out, and, and you can tell it's conformed to my fat body. The leather has, and very nicely made. You look at the suede on the back. I don't want to get too involved in this, but you look at the nice suede on the back. Leather on the front, so you got two pieces of leather bound together and then stitched on the end, nicely burnished on the edge. Very smooth, finished edge. 
really a fantastically made holster. I have nothing but, but good things to say about the quality and the time and effort they've put into building this holster. They've done an outstanding job. On the Kydex end of it, if you look at the mouth on that, very easy to reholster as you can see that I demonstrated. And that's, all, that's been the one main reason that years ago I decided I'd have nothing to do with inside the waistband holsters because it's, it's a difficulty in reholstering them. And I think it's very important to be able to get that firearm back in as fast as you can get it out. So, yeah, I've always been hesitant to get involved. You can take that along with a training course I went to once where a fellow took the training course with an inside the waistband holster and a Glock 26 and shot himself in the butt. Yeah, so, yeah, not the kind of thing I want to do, either having it inside my pants or shooting myself. But things have changed a lot since then. That was a good, well, we won't talk about it, at least 20 years ago, plus. So, as you can tell, this does not collapse. And part of the reason it doesn't collapse is... First off, the Kydex won't collapse, but the leather, and this is the tricky thing, is the leather backing has to be sturdy enough that it'll not collapse, yet it can't be so rigid that it's not going to conform. That's what makes leather the thing to have here. It's, it's rigid enough that it's not going to collapse. This holster, the Kydex portion, isn't going to stay rigid and the leather when you put it in there collapse so much you can't get the gun in and out of the holster. It has to be pliable so it'll conform to your body. Also has to be pliable enough that it'll form around the gun with usage and yet sturdy enough it's not going to just collapse. And here they've accomplished that by very simply using quality leather. You know, sometimes the, the nicest things and the things that, are, that work the best are the simplest. You don't have to reinvent the world. That, that is the reason God put cows on this planet, is to feed us and to make holsters. So, very, very nicely done. And as I've demonstrated, it works as a, as a good holster should. You can get the gun out of the holster, you can put the gun back in the holster, and it retains the firearm. It retains it very, very well. So I have nothing but positive things to say about hidden hybrid holsters. Matter of fact, if this could be put in at a direct vertical drop, but in order to do that it would have to be cut a lot differently on this side further down to do it. But if you had a direct vertical drop of this, hey, you might even get Mr. Holster to wear one inside his pants. And I say that because it's convenient at the moment because my pants are way too big. And I, I'd like to take, I'd like to be able to be proud of the fact that I've lost 40 pounds in the last seven months. But we all know why I've lost 40 pounds the last seven months, and it really isn't because I've, I've stopped eating. <laughs> or gotten up and gotten exercise either. So there you go. I thought I'd review this today. Hidden hybrid holster. So if you're looking for an inside the waistband holster that sits at a forward cant, I don't think you could go wrong with this in any way, shape, or form. Either the price or the quality. It's just an outstanding, outstanding product. So, there you go. Hidden hybrid holster. Big thumbs up from Mr. Mr. Holster. And, yeah, it's not even the type of holster I wear. So, there you go. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Hard Target Range. I'll leave you with a little more footage of me out there on that Hard Target Range shooting my, what has now become... An old-fashioned Glock Gen 3. Yeah, it won't be long. They won't even be making these anymore. Thanks for tuning in.
let's all give a little prayer that Jack is lucky at the craps tables because you know that's where he is right now. Till next time, for Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe.